Good morning. Welcome to Preparing to Survive and Thrive Homesteading Channel with Charlie B. So um, it's heading towards the middle of September and I am going to give you a little bit of a garden tour. I'm getting eaten alive and it's early in the morning by mosquitoes and little um, bees. Those sweat bees are getting me. So bear with me if I scream or um, I slap myself because I'm killing something at the moment. But my garden is very overgrown so I'm going to sit you around so you can see what it looks like. I zoomed out um, this is my tomatoes and onions were here there are still some onions way down there um, I'm not gonna try to fight with that um, moonflower it's very pretty it's got some stickers on it my friend swears up and down I plant them there to protect my garden could be true not sure but my tomatoes right now are about spent they're coming down um, I've got some Lettuce here going to seed. I'm not sure I'm going to pull it up. I might just let it go and see what comes up next year. These big plants right here. This is my purple amaranth and or called pigweed. Um, I'm going to see if these will actually turn red this year because it's called red root. It's supposed to get a beautiful red um, seed pod on it. And if they do, they're edible. And I can shake them off and make them just like I do with quinoa. Or I don't have to buy my quinoa or my amaranth this year. I can just eat what I plant it. Lots and lots and lots of crazy stuff going on in this garden. Um, I can barely walk through here. This is my garden path. Down here, there is a nightshade. I found out that the berries are edible and uh, you can cook the young leaves. Cook them like you do with a lot of other plants that are a little bit of toxic in them. But the berries are very good, just don't eat too many of them because then they could be toxic, which could be about anything in today's world. My strawberry patch um, is completely grown up. Good luck seeing them. That's all right, I'll get them cleared up. Now, here's something very pretty. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see. Let me get in here. Here we go. My Jerusalem artichokes are in bloom. There's a bunch of flowers. They're very pretty. They look like black eyed Susie's, Susan's, or you could also go with the sunflower family because that's who they're with. But they're very pretty, so that means the bulbs are getting mature and you can eat them like potatoes. I like them, however, they are high in fiber and you will be um, taking a rest break. We'll put it just like that. Let me try to get you through here. More tomatoes down through here, also laying on the ground. I tied them up. We got a bunch of rain here. That's all it's been doing is raining. We're supposed to get about two weeks of dry weather. I will not water my garden unless we get something like 100 degree heat, which we're only supposed to be in the um, 80s. We have our pepper plants and daisies that have decided to take over even though I pulled a bunch of them out. Our pepper plants are doing amazing. These are our banana peppers. Um, I just uh, freeze dried a whole bunch of them. You'll be, you probably will be seeing that video or you um, have already seen it depending on when I get this posted. My okra. Now this is a really strange thing. My okra plants are doing amazing except for this one. I came out one day, it was looking fine came out two days later and it looks like something maybe ate the roots. I am still harvesting okra from it and there is a seed pod. I'm actually picking okra this morning. There is a seed pod that is ready to definitely be picked. It's very long and it started to split and I didn't want the seeds to go out everywhere. So we'll actually talk about these seeds in another video. But if you're saving your seeds, make sure things don't split open too much and you end up losing your seeds in the ground, which would be fine if that's where you're planting your stuff and you can distinguish what they are, pull them out and then plant them in spaces that you need them. But I'll be harvesting my okra today and Stash has come out to visit me. My cucumbers are pretty much gone. Um, 
yeah I really need to do some cleaning up of this but it's not gonna happen right now that corn stalk that is one that I left to go to seed it has a pink tie on it it was a volunteer so that means the seeds are going to be amazing the same thing with this one I'll be picking this one off probably in the next couple days when it dries out really good and this weed right here which technically is not a weed if I'm not mistaken this is my lamb's quarter that has went to seed so my Jerusalem artichokes has fallen out and the Jerusalem artichokes up there they are probably close to 10 feet tall at least So I got Stash out here in the garden. He's walking around my feet. Hey Stashy Stash. Now, I guess all you're gonna get to see today of him is, oh, there's his face. Hey Stash. <laughs> okay, he wants me to pick him up. It's hard to do that when I'm holding this camera. So I am walking through my jungle. Oh boy. So this is where my potatoes were planted our planet still um, they of course are done so I've just kind of let it come up and do its thing um, if it rains then the water does not go scrolling down the hill the weeds will absorb it helps actually protect the potatoes and what I haven't started digging up yet are my sweet potatoes excuse me again going through weeds and try not to step on stash Yes, I am a bad gardener. I let all my weeds come up, but I don't care. I like it. It's my survival garden. These down here are my sweet potato plants. They're doing really well. Not that many bug bites because they're eating the other items. And this one is coming up and hooking onto another plant to take off with. Next up, we have our corn. Let's zoom you out. Um, they are done. What is on there will go to um, seed. We put in my seed bank for next year or the next couple years. This year, that seed did not do very good. Um, the corn was really sweet, but it was very small. So I'm hoping what I pull off from the ones that came up as volunteers will be much better. This is my bean plants, along with some corn that has fallen. We got like I said, some pretty bad storms that knocked over some of the corn before it had even started to dry. Um, I will be going through here to see if I can get any more beans. And if I do, I will probably freeze dry them. And another set of corn. Pretty much spent. Oh, this we have some Canadian goldenrod the bees love it they pollinate it this is also good for upper respiratory issues so if you can get it why it's blooming like this and get it dried take the leaves take it all I just put it in some tinctures and go maybe I'll do a video on that too this year down here <laughs> are my hot peppers zoom in again just a little we have our cayenne peppers they are green at this point um, I picked all the red ones and they're being frozen and down over here I pulled these up oh I'm getting some red ones right there I actually took a line and pulled these all up so they stopped falling over into my walkway. This one we have here is the habaneros. I'm still waiting for them to get a light orange. I'm not going to drag you all the way down through there, but it's jalapenos, which are doing amazing, and also some banana peppers are down there. The bell peppers are up at the other end. On the other row they did amazing they, they're starting to do amazing let's just put it like that I actually did some stuffed peppers with them well this was our watermelon and cantaloupe I pulled most of the watermelons cantaloupes when we got that is five inches of rain everything 
um, implode it and just disintegrate it. They absorb so much water and then just, it was done. More squash was supposed to be planted in there. I have pretty much picked up everything that was going to be used. Of course, this was another one for squash. Didn't get many this year. A little upset. Right here are what I was putting out a few weeks ago, probably at least a month ago, was bean plants. Not beans, sorry, peas. And let's see, up oh, here we've got some coming up. Now these were old seeds, but I put them in here and some of them were viable. Some of them not so much. It's very pretty. I'm hoping to get this before the frosts come and kill everything. I will cover these. I had a really great squash plant that was doing amazing and I left for a few days and I came back and this is what happened. So I don't know what's going to happen if I'm going to actually get anything out of it. I'm going to probably say no. This is what happens when you're not out here every day pulling weeds and instead you are doing um, canning and preserving your food. More of the red root or the purple amaranth. Back behind there, we actually have some mums. Well, that is pretty much my garden tour, but I'm going to take you down in the bottom where I had sunflowers planted. They did not do anything. The one picture I had set up at the top um, of my sunflowers, the deer ate up close to, I'm going to go with two thirds of them. We got some other things that came up in there. Um, and of course the sunflowers, I am going to zoom out so you can see what I am walking through right now. So that's just, you're not going to get through here. Nobody would know in a million years that I had a garden planted in here. So, has anybody else let their weeds take over from their garden? Hmm, just a question I'm asking. Because it's okay if you do. It's this time of year. Because a lot of the things, believe it or not, will be harvested. Will be chopped down next year. And they will come up and do the same thing again. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like I should uh, buy that tight buy the license to that song welcome to the jungle because that is what I'm in oh boy I'm gonna switch you around so it's very sunny I am glad for the sunshine and I'm gonna take you to some volunteer plants that came up in the mush bin um, if you recall, they were some type of squash. We weren't sure. <sighs> You're getting a nice view of my old barn back there. Believe it or not, it doesn't look like it, but it's still sturdy. We had structural engineering looking at it, and they said it was still good. Okay, a little bit of shade here. Woo! Okay, I'm going to swap you back around. Here is our volunteer squash plants. And after a lot of rain, and some of the leaves are starting to fall off these trees, but not many, we have determined that they're going to be butternut squash. And that's amazing because I only got two butternut squash this year. I'm hoping that I can keep this going. And when I hear that there's going to even be a light frost, I am going to come out here and cover these guys up. I'm hoping I get more than those four. There's definitely things popping up everywhere where I'm getting to see blooms and little baby ones, which you can't see at this moment, but this is all good. And let's see. Hey, Stash. There you are. Stash, say hi. Okay. Well, that's my garden tour. You've seen the sunflowers. The only thing that's in the down, down the um, other place is either weeds. A few sunflowers came up. And I also planted some buckwheat. 
down there. Bees love it. And that's all we're really doing today. So, if you like my content, please like, share, and subscribe. Um, leave a comment. I like hearing from you. Tell me what you're doing with your garden. I mean, this is pretty much the middle of September and everything is definitely coming to a close. Will I extend the season on some of the stuff? Let's find out how long the season goes. I'll be talking with you soon. Remember, like, share, and subscribe. Charlie B. signing out.